I get mad. <laughs> I sit at home and I'm like, I, I just want to go out and take some photos, damn it. What's going on? Welcome to another video. We're gonna talk about getting frustrated as a photographer. There's gonna be moments in your journey as a photographer where you get frustrated. Um, I myself just experienced this the other day. I was gonna do a POV video and <laughs> I didn't get much, honestly. So I woke up and I wanted to go take some photos and I was like, well, what can I do? Well, we have a small airport here and it has little charter planes. People own little planes and they take off from there. And I'm like, you know what? That would be a really cool thing to take photos of. Just take pictures of the planes, you know? And I've shot there before. I shot a car there. I talked to the people and they're like, yeah, anytime, come back, take photos. So I go and I pull up. Every single plane was covered. The owners of the planes covered them up and uh, it wasn't even raining. I'll, I'll wait around for a few minutes and see, you know? They just open, maybe people are gonna come out and take the, the covers off their planes and you know, wash them, polish them, do some work to them, take them out, who knows, so I'll sit around. And I sat there for about a good 15, 20 minutes and nothing, nobody, nobody even showed up. The, the place was desolate, man. So I was like, okay, what can I do? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to take a picture of the graffiti. So, all right, cool. Okay. All right, thanks. That didn't go very well. Got kicked out. So I drove around looking for something and to be honest, I couldn't find anything. And I went back to, to Main Street, the, the places where I've done the, the POV videos. And I found myself getting discouraged. And I shouldn't have. But that's what, that's what it does, you know, when, you, when you're trying to be creative and you're blocked by something, whether it's yourself or your surroundings, your location, uh, it's frustrating. So I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to the park. I'm just going to run to the, to the park. We have a couple parks here. I'm going to go to, to the nearest park and I'm just going to kind of walk around and I'm gonna vlog and, and I'm gonna take some photos of what I can take photos of. You know, I parked my car, I'm out with my camera and there's these two people maybe 300 feet away from me. And they're sitting on their car and they're, they're making out or doing whatever they're doing. I don't give them a second look. As you'll see, I don't know what's called, I guess you could call it a stage sitting in the middle of the park. And it's got some stairs and it's got three flag poles and it's got flags on them and it's just open area that's about maybe 15 by 15. So I walk up the stairs and I set my GoPro down on, on its little tripod and I walk away. And I hear these people, they're over to my left, and I hear them, what is that guy doing? What is he doing? Hey, he better not be filming us. He better not be doing this. Like, I'm, Jesus Christ, I'm not even looking at you. <laughs> I, I take a picture of the, the three flags. Didn't really need to, didn't want to. I just felt obligated now because I got these people watching me thinking that I'm taking photos of them. And I'm already, you know, frustrated from not being able to take photos of what I wanted to take photos of earlier. Anyway, I snap a photo and then I walk up and I do, you know, I'm walking up and I grab the, the tripod and I start talking to it. So photography means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To me, it's therapy. To me, I like to, I like to just take photos of things, you know? It's not about taking the most viral photo. It's about therapy. It's about just coming out, taking a walk, and taking some photos of some things. Now the problem with that, in a small town, is that a lot of times you're unable to do that whether that be because everybody's in everybody else's business they see a guy with a camera they think he's up to no good well how is that a thing how is that possible somebody walking around with an expensive camera is up to no good it just makes no sense and i notice you know I, i'm trying to concentrate on what i'm doing and i just keep hearing these people over here 
what is that guy doing? He better not be filming us, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, you know, I'm trying my best at this point not to yell at him and be like, dude, mind your own business. Jesus Christ. You know, being at the same park, once before, I was followed by somebody in a truck. The last time I was here, I was actually followed by somebody in a truck. They followed me. They, uh, they drove in places where trucks shouldn't be going in this park. I mean, yeah, a truck can travel anywhere, but should it really be driving along the grass, following a guy that's taking photos of bulbs on a tree? Probably not. The point of this, of this little story is try not to get frustrated as a photographer, as anybody who's doing something creative, try not to let people affect you. On that day, I was highly affected. I was affected by my own frustrations with myself of not being able to find a, a photo. I was frustrated with being in a small town and there being really nothing exciting. But what, what I want to say is Try not to get frustrated and embrace and enjoy the process of photography. It's the process that matters. It's not the final result, it's the process. For me, photography is therapeutic. When I'm out and I'm taking photos, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm thinking about having fun. I'm thinking about the shot. I'm, I'm looking through my lens and I'm living my life through my camera. I'm not thinking about bills. I'm not thinking about the weather. I'm not thinking about getting my car out of the shop. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm thinking about, I'm taking photos, I'm having fun. Try not to let little things like people watching you discourage you. Yeah, it's, it's annoying, highly annoying. For those of you out there that are watching that are trying to also learn photography, you're gonna run into this. This is something that you're gonna be faced with eventually. That same day, my fiance came home from work. She's like, what's wrong? I'm like, man, I'm just frustrated. She's like, why? And I, I explained it to her. She's like, that's understandable. I get it. She's like, but you know what? I'm not going to have you moping around. Get up off your ass. We're going to go drive around. So we drove around. And she's like, pull in here. We're going to walk. We're going to go take pictures of this bridge. And we're going to go into the bridge. Turns out, man, this is a place that I'd never been before. And because of her, my day got 100 times better. And I took these photos of the bridge and under the bridge and just different things. So again, enjoy the process. Just because you're having an off day or a bad day doesn't mean that your day is ruined. Just take a break, talk to somebody, and then maybe just go for a walk, go for a drive, and find something that you haven't seen before and start snapping photos of it. You never know what you're gonna end up with. So until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. How's this going? Hey, I'm magic. Poof.